Which headlight housings are the best for your GMC Sierra? If you got a 14 to 15 Sierra 1500 or a 15 to 19 2500 HD, you're probably seeing a ton of different headlight options out there for your truck. In this video, we got four of the most popular aftermarket headlights for the Sierra, and we're gonna compare them, all the features, the brightness, the style, and we're gonna compare them against the OEM headlights so you can decide for yourself. First, we're gonna talk about brightness. We did the testing yesterday so that we could make the video today. And honestly, once you see the results, you might not even wanna watch the rest of this video. There's one headlight that stands out from the rest and the others are less bright than stock. Normally, the way we test brightness is we pull the truck into the shop, point it at a wall 25 feet away and use a digital lux meter to measure brightness. Lux is the actual usable light, not some fake number like lumen. But right after that, we're gonna take it out into the field for some real world testing. This is your OEM HID projector headlight. They've got a yellowish white beam pattern with a distinguishable hot spot. You've got that cutoff with a step in the middle. This is everything that you would expect from an OEM HID headlight. The brightness on these comes in at 640 maximum lux. That's the number that we'll compare the other headlights against to see if any of the others are an upgrade or not. When we flip it to high beam, it's actually pretty decent and we get 1,040 maximum lux. That's a significant increase in brightness. Interesting thing there, none of the other headlights had a major increase in brightness when switching to high beam, just more footprint of your light. When we pull the vehicle out into the real world scenario, at 75 feet, it dropped to 86 and at 125 feet, the low beam maximum lux hit 37. What this demonstrates is how bright the light can be at distance. It's one thing to show how bright it is right in front of your face, but when I'm driving a vehicle, I want as much light down the road. I don't need a bunch of foreground lighting, lighting up everything I'm passing by when I'm driving. I need to see what's coming up ahead. So keep these numbers in mind. We want all three of these numbers to be higher on the other headlights. Next up, we've got the Morimoto XB LED headlights. These are the only LED projector option. As you can see right away, they've got a real similar beam pattern to stock, but it's a better color and it's way brighter. On the low beam, we came in at 1,200 maximum lux, which is an 87% increase from the original OEM headlight. Switching to high beam, we only got a little bump in brightness up to 1,250, but that's still 20% brighter than the original headlights. When we bring the Morimoto headlight to the parking lot at 25 feet, we saw 1,179 maximum lux. At 75 feet, we got 238 maximum lux. And at 125 feet, we're still at 95 maximum lux. That's almost three times brighter than the original headlight at 125 feet. That's the important number. Next up is our headlight from Spec D. We found that this exact same headlight sells from a few different brands on Amazon and eBay, one of them being Auto Zensation. This one has a projector halogen headlight and the beam pattern looks kind of similar to the original, but it's not as bright. At 25 feet in the studio, it only came in at 300 maximum lux. That's 53% less bright than stock. When we flip it to high beam, we get only 310 maximum lux. That's 70% less bright than your original headlights. At this point, just keep your originals in the truck. When we bring Spec D to the parking lot, at 25 feet, we get 293 maximum lux. At 75 feet, we get 44 maximum lux. And at 125 feet, we get 16 maximum lux. Half as bright as the original. Here you have the Anzo headlight for your Sierra. This was my favorite of the cheaper headlights because it had the best look and arguably the best beam besides the Morimoto. This thing's also a halogen projector headlight and has a similar beam pattern to stock, just not as bright. At 25 feet, low beam brings us 485 maximum lux, which is 24% less bright than stock. A quarter of your light is gone with this headlight. When we flip it to high beam, it only goes to 490, 
which is half as bright as stock. This thing drops in brightness 53%. Out in the parking lot at 25 feet, we hit 465 maximum lux. At 75 feet, we hit 67. And at 125 feet, we hit 29 maximum lux. That's a little bit less than the original. The last headlight we're testing is the halogen projector from Eagle Eyes. In the studio, at 25 feet, we hit 240 maximum lux. This thing cuts your brightness from your stock headlights down 62%. I don't know about you, but I'm shooting for more brightness, not less. When we flip it to high beam, we only get 250 maximum lux, and that's a decrease from stock of 76%. You might as well run around with just your parking lights on. At 25 feet, we hit 241 maximum lux. At 75 feet, we hit 66 maximum lux. And at 125 feet, we got 29 maximum lux. After seeing the brightness comparison, if you still need to know more, let's talk about features. The OEM headlight is DOT approved. It uses an HID projector light source, it does have an LED daytime running light. It does not have an LED turn signal. It does not have sequential turn signals. It is plug and play since it's the original, but it's not maintenance free. You might have to replace an HID bulb or an HID ballast or a turn signal bulb on this headlight. Next up, the Morimoto XB. This headlight is DOT approved. It uses an LED projector light source. It has an OEM style, dual brightness LED daytime running light that works like it should when the headlights are off and dims when the headlights are on. The turn signal is LED. It does have sequential turn signals. It's mostly plug and play. And this headlight is maintenance free. Now let's talk about the headlight from Spec D. On the lens, it says it's DOT approved. It uses a halogen projector light source. It has something that looks like a DRL, but it doesn't act like a DRL. It's not true to form like the OEM, where it runs in a bright version when the headlights are off and a dim setting when the headlights are on. But for most people, it's close enough. It uses an LED turn signal, but the turn signal is not sequential. This headlight is totally plug and play. This headlight is not maintenance free. The halogen light bulb will probably have to be replaced at some point. Now let's move on to Anzo. The Anzo headlight is DOT approved. It uses a halogen projector light source. It does not have a DRL. That U-shaped bar around the headlight is just an accent. It does not have an LED turn signal. The turn signal is not sequential. The headlight is totally plug and play, but it is not maintenance free. The headlight bulb and the turn signal will need to be replaced someday. Now let's move on to Eagle Eyes. These headlights are DOT approved. They use a halogen projector light source. They have some LED accents that look like a DRL, but they don't act like a DRL. It does not have an LED turn signal, does not have sequential turn signals. It is totally plug and play. This headlight is not maintenance free. The low beam bulb and the turn signal bulb will have to be replaced at some point. You know what they say, you get what you pay for. The Morimoto XB headlights are the most expensive aftermarket of all the versions, but as you can see, they're also the best. You can get the OEM headlights brand new for about 1500 bucks a set. I'm sure you can buy them used for cheaper, just like any of these, but when we're comparing apples to apples, the Morimoto XB is still less expensive than a replacement set of OEM headlights that outperform the halogen ones. The Spec D headlight comes in at about 350 bucks, depending on where you get it. The Anzo headlight comes in at around 400 to $500, and the Eagle Eyes headlight comes in at 250 to $300. So, the Anzo, the Spec D, and the Eagle Eye lights are way cheaper than the Morimoto. All I'm saying is I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a set of headlights that's less bright than stock. For me, I want something that looks good, it's got all the features, it's high quality, and it's way brighter than stock out of the box. On my truck, I'd pick the Morimoto XB. 